Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I'm James, and uh, my IGM is Samso. Uh, I'm the AD carry for Illinois College. So it's been a while since my last vlog, but um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's going on and like what's been happening around the school. So my last vlog was actually quite a few weeks ago, so a lot has changed. So like I'm in, I'm on my 11th week of school right now, so there's like four to five more weeks to go. Or six if you include finals, but so as of right now, the League of League of Legends team is essentially assembled. Um, the gaming lounge or gaming office, whatever you want to call it, is completely built. So all ten computers are in the office, and there are gaming chairs, um, and for every single computer. So they use Vertigear gaming chairs, which is like the expensive kind. Um, I can't really tell the difference between like the expensive kind and the regular kind, so they all feel the same to me. So it's just like, I think they overpaid, but it's whatever. Um, the computers they used have GTX 1070s, so they're really, really good. They have i7s, 7700Ks. Basically, they went it all out on the computers, so, and um, they used 1440 hertz monitors, or like 144. No, 144 hertz monitors, which is really nice. Uh, they used the BenQ kind, which doesn't have G-Sync or FreeSync, so that's kind of a question mark. They just overpaid for it. Um, yeah, they use basically expensive kind for all the gaming gear. They use Razer, um, Chroma, like V2, the most expensive kind, and they use Nagas, but I don't use their Nagas because I prefer my Death Adder Elite. So I just always bring my mouse in, and that's basically what I do. Um, so as far as like the team goes, we have our coach now. His name is Justin, and um, he's like a D1, D2 player. He's really, really smart in terms of the game. So he's already taught me a lot in terms of what the game, how the game works, and he pointed out a lot of the mistakes I'm making, which is really good. So I'm actually like improving a lot. Um, in terms of my accounts, I got my smurf to Diamond 4, but I let my main drop out of Diamond 4, and unfortunately the end of the season is today, so I couldn't get my main to Diamond 4, which is kind of unfortunate, but I guess I'll use the off-season to just kind of boost my MMR a little bit. Um, I just came out of a stream session, I played a lot of Vayne, which is something that I probably shouldn't be practicing, but uh, I'm just trying to have fun for a little bit now because this, uh, the season's over. Uh, during this time since my last block, I was actually playing in Upsurge League the entire time. Uh, we placed second in the UML League, dropping our games 1-3 against uh, Ever Esports. That was a really good series. Um, obviously, we didn't perform up to our standards. Like, we expect a lot more from ourselves. But I guess it is what it is. Like, we just didn't practice enough, and their team was a lot more smart in terms of, like, game sense and game decision making and stuff like that. So... They deserve the win over us 100%. Um, it was kind of sad that we placed uh, number two because I really expected myself to really improve. And, like, we kind of made a, according to the casters, I guess, we made a miracle run because we came in at this, as the fourth seed. So we 2 won and set, uh, and not semis. What's the, what's the thing? What's the round before semis? Like, I don't know what to call it. So like we won 2-1 in the first round and then 2-0 against the number 2 seed. So we dominated them in a you know really quick fashion. And coming into the finals, we really expected ourselves to like just put up a really good fight. In game 1, we had um, basically they drafted everything according to us. They picked the Orn and we got the Callista pick and we we were able to draft ourselves a really aggressive bot lane. So we couldn't lose against their master D1 bot lane. Because um, their bot lane is actually insanely good. So we needed to draft a winning bot lane every time or else we're just going to get stomped. Unfortunately, we like fell out of that logic. Like, I guess we kind of just tilted after game 2. Because going into game 2, or I should continue to talk about game 1. So game 1, uh, basically we picked all the champions we needed to pick. And we created a really good comp against them. And we just got, like, kept pressing aggressively. Like I did get caught... Um, like twice, which was really, really bad. But as a team, we really come back um, after that. So going into game two, we had like a really effective strategy in mind. Number one, 
get the Caitlyn pick because their AD carry Deadpool is probably one of the best Caitlyns I've ever seen. And I'm also an insanely good Caitlyn. So, like, our priority pick on blue side is always going to be Caitlyn, and we will never let them have Caitlyn on red side. So, what ex essentially happened was we were able to get the Caitlyn pick. They picked the Tristana, which was to be expected, but um, Caitlyn does smack Tristana early game. But we weren't able to pick in another aggressive support. We picked the Rakan, which was not as good as we wanted. Uh, we wanted, like, Lulu. We wanted... Um, Soraka, but the Rakan was still up, so we felt like we were able to uh, have playmaking supports in that uh, immediate time. So, unfortunately, during the early game, we had a complete communication breakdown, and our jungler caught was caught out, and he basically died uh, while our mid was still pushing, and our bot was still pushing. And as he was dying, bot lane, our bot lane rotated towards them, and we were second light. So, essentially... Um, the other bot lane burnt double sums, and from us as bot lane, so we essentially had to play on the back foot the entire early game, which completely threw away our game plan. So we dropped, like, we got hard stomped game two. And after that, we just kind of, like, fell apart. Like, game three, I picked Sivir. Um, I got three kills, but, our, like, we kept getting caught out for no reason. Uh, I think I was, like, 370 CS at, like, a 34-minute game. I was, like, 3-1. It just wasn't enough to win the series. So, basically, at that point, we were, like, all right. So, we just need to throw everything out the window. We need to, like, just go in here and pick comfort picks. So, that's essentially what we tried to do. We also brought in Rough Beans because we felt like he gave us the most effective, like, strategy to win. And, unfortunately, that wasn't enough, and we lost 1-3. So... It was honestly like really sad for me because I felt like we really had a decent chance at winning, but it, we just never pulled through. So I guess like in the future, we should continue trying, and I think we can definitely do it in the future. So that's it for like the delusional esports of my life. So back to Illinois College. So right now, um, school's been going all right. Um, like I am stressed out quite a bit by like the course load but I think I can definitely handle it so going into like the other Illinois College esports I think the biggest issues that we have right now is our ranked is too far apart for example um, our top lane our mid lane and um, yeah mainly top and mid and support subs they're like silver and gold so that's like pretty huge um, rank discrepancy between me and the rest of the team. Um, so my current support is like Diamond 5, which is okay, but unfortunately he's going to be leaving next semester, so we won't even be able to play in the ULL with the support, which means I'll have to play like with like a silver gold support, which might um, impact my game performance, which is an issue because we'll be going against like Diamond and above bot lanes. So I think I really need to like improve with all the time that I have going into next semester, so that's a goal right now for me. Um, our junglers around Platinum, he's pretty good. I feel like his, uh, he's really smart in terms of game knowledge. And our coach definitely is, like, really pushing us to improve. So, like, the past, like, three to four weeks, we've been grinding nonstop solo queue for every single practice just to hone in our mechanics. So, essentially, within the next two weeks or so, we're going to start scrimming, which is a pretty big deal because those are essentially our first scrims of uh, the year with our, with our current roster, which also is the first ever scrims of the school. So we're definitely on our way to compete in ULOL. In terms of like competition, I feel like in the first season, um, realistically, we won't really go into playoffs. Um, I think playoffs will be a little difficult, but who knows? Like we might be able to pull out a miracle run. But I think next year is where it's all going to be because according to Coach Justin, um, next year we'll have like master tier players, time uh, enough players for our main squad. So essentially like um, a general rank that he wants me to be by next uh, next semester or not, not next semester, next year. Uh, I'm expected to be around a diamond two level and above. So that's essentially something that I really have to work hard on. And like... I think I have what it takes to get to that level, but I just need to like really focus and sit down with myself and just understand that I need to improve within this certain time period and I need to really start focusing. 
because a big issue that I have is I kind of lose focus in solo queue. Like I kind of just zone out, which is like a huge problem for me. So I need to like completely hone in. All right, so that's kind of Illinois College out of the way. Now back to like essentially to my personal life right now. I am still dealing with, with like homesick issues. Like I do miss Ellie a lot and Illinois College is still a pretty big culture shock. Like I feel like I don't really belong here, which is a like, it's not that big of a problem, but it just makes me feel lonely, you know, because this isn't really my home and I do miss LA. So I'm gonna try to like go back for Thanksgiving break. Um, so over that period, my goal is just essentially mentally reset because school is really stressful. And the League of Legends team has put a lot of stress on me. Um, but it's like nothing I can't handle. So like, essentially going back to LA would be my big break before I really just start like going hard. So like finals are coming up, you need to really start studying. Uh, League of Legends, I need to really start improving during the off season. I need to like completely hone in and 100% focused. I'm also like starting to work a little bit on coaching. So I did get invited by Weldon to participate in one of his coaching programs. So uh, that's really exciting, but I can't really talk more about it. Um, yes, the Mind Games, uh, Weldon from TSM and all the other LCS teams. He's currently working for G2, but he's on a side project. So that's hope hopefully something that I'll be working on at a later time. Unfortunately, I'm a little too busy right now with schoolwork, but over the weekends, hopefully I'll be able to contribute to his coaching program and just essentially like work for him. It is a paid uh, freelance um, work environment, I guess. So that's kind of exciting for me. It's a new step. So hopefully with that, I'll have a deeper game knowledge and I'll be able to coach effectively. Also, at the same time, I would be unable to like understand the game at a more fundamental level, which could also help me in essentially progressing in-game. So that's basically it. Um, I'm going to try to do vlogs, or vlogs more often, but yeah, it's just something I have to like just do, you know? So thanks for watching, guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.